It's a busy time in the fields of Lincolnshire. This team is working 10-hour shifts planting celeriac on Robin Buck's farm. There are 12 of them, all from either Latvia or Lithuania. They're paid £10 an hour to do a job British labourers don't seem to want anymore. It's very difficult to, to know what uh, young people in schools want to do now, but uh, agriculture and this sort of work is, is much better paid than, than they imagine it, it would be. And uh, I wish that we could have more applicants from the UK. But the fact is, they just don't come? No, they're not coming. It's casual labour. If it rains, they can't work and they don't get paid. Still, Igor Zavatskis told me he earns four times as much here as he would back home. He only planned to come to Britain for a few months. That was six years ago. Are you going to stay here? I hope so. If it's going to be everything OK, if the UK is not going to be come out from UA, it's going to be fine. And you're going to stay? You're going to settle down here? Yeah. That's a common story. Around a third of the population of nearby Wisbeach is now thought to be from Eastern Europe. It's putting pressure on services. Dominica. The Orchard Primary School is creating a new class every year. There are 16 nationalities here and many of the staff are bilingual. But that's a good thing, the head told me, for the children and for their town. Wisbeach is a phenomenally vibrant market town. You hear all the time, don't you, of market towns in decline, empty shops and so on. You won't find that in Wisbeach. But not everyone is so accommodating. One study placed Wisbeach among the least integrated towns in Britain. Ken and Monica York moved here to retire 20 years ago. They say the community has changed completely in that time. They want Britain to tighten its borders and leave the EU. I think we should leave. I don't think there's, there's any enough restriction. On, I'm not saying don't have migrants in the country or people coming in, but I think there should be some restriction on the amount of people. We are basically being flooded. This is a migration hotspot. What's happening here is not the norm. But stories from places like Wisbeach feed into a broader perception of what's happening across Britain. So even in places where immigration is not a major local issue, it's still seen as one of the key arguments in this whole debate. We drove north to Sunderland. EU migration here is well below the national average, but attitudes are hardening nonetheless. Support for UKIP is growing in this old Labour heartland. In the South Hilton Working Men's Club, their policies are going down well. I think there's too many people coming in um, and we're losing our identity. Do you see many European immigrants in this part of the country? No, I've got to admit that it's further down. It's not up at this end. I didn't say much in, 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 the, well, in the North East. Do you still worry about it? Aye. Oh, I without a doubt. This region's traditional industries are in sharp decline. The Pallian shipyard on the River Weir is struggling to stay open with no orders coming in. Its boss understands the anger and the apathy that people here feel, but he hopes they'll come out to vote. Brussels hasn't brought many benefits to the North East, he says, but better the devil you know. If I'm pushed, I personally think the region will vote to stay in. But I think it's going to be close. For better or for worse, Britain is changing. The coming weeks will determine the direction we take from here. Martin Geisler, News at 10, Sunderland.